benefits welcome back to my video tutorial subscribe so again so today we will learn how to get started with lambda okay so what is lambda lambda which is a tool library which is used to reduce your bilateral code okay so it uh, increases the code readability as well as decrease your development time so it automatically generate the getter set method to stick method no axe constructor or all axe constructor also the log for j what is called this things it automatically generated for you so let's see how we can install and configure number in our eclipse or hds id so for this just open your web browser and search for lambda okay lambda please search for lambda here please click the fast link project lambda and here you can get a menu like download please click here download you can see like this download 1.18.18 so this version of lambda you can download please click here to download okay so lambda is downloaded in your machine now so just go to your download folder see so see so uh, i have already lambda downloaded so it's another file created okay no worries so see this is the lambda dot jar this is a executable jar file so to run a java executable jar file you just double click on this you'll get an interface like this or what you can do you just open any command line over here just type cmd and to run a jar file we have the command like java hyphen jar then lambda dot jar okay hit enter also you will get the similar type of interface by running your jar file okay so after this you will have to specify a location to install a configure lambda in your machine so see here i have already installed lambda in my eclipse.exe okay another is my app directory another is for hts.exe this part lambda is already configured so i need to specify another location for lambda let's see okay so i will click specify location here please click here and choose the file name where your hts is installed just go to your computer let's say in my app directory i have hts bundle see here then you have the hts chapter 9.2 release please click here here hts.exe file is present so here i want to configure my lambda so please select this one and click here install or update please click here install or update you can see your message like this install successful then your lambda is already added to your hts location now please click here to quit install so that means your hts is all set to use lambda now how to use this lambda in our program so let me go to my workspace so see here this is a maven project i have created you can also use lambda in your parallel project if you are using maven project then you know form that xml file to specify the lambda dependency so what is that dependency let me show you that one see here in my form that xml file i have form that project your lambda dependency so if you can download this So internet also just search for lambda maven dependency will get a dependency like this. This one, our project lambda lambda. Okay, so this is the dependency I have used here to use lambda in my project. So after this, how to use this? So as I said earlier, lambda is used to minimize your bilateral code. Okay, so you can use it for the getter setter method, for the do string method, and how we can use this. What is the annotation to use this? Let's see. This is the model class for entity class I have. So in one of my entity class, I have demonstrated these things to you. So see, in this person entity class, I have the field like this: person ID, person name, email ID, and age. Okay. So to set this parameter, to get this parameter, we need what? Get a certain method. So here, in the ID also, you can click right click, click your source, then generate get a certain method. See, so select all, then okay. So it will increase your code length. So code readability will be minimal. But if this is without using lambda, okay. So if let me delete all those things, okay. 
if I use longer, then what should I use? I use the annotation for getter centimeter like this getter. Okay, then setter. These are the annotation to use the getter center method. Okay, so it will automatically generate the getter center method for it. Also, for the to string method, it can use the annotation like to string. Okay, to string number you can see. Also, also to generate the all are constructor or more constructor, what is the annotation? At the rate more constructor at the rate all are constructor. See here. Okay. So it will automatically generate uh, generate for you the bilateral code. You don't need to write them over here. The data uh, method or two string method or uh, constructor, more constructor, all are constructor, you don't need to do this. So it will minimize your code length. So the readability will be maximum. Also it reduces the development. What? Development timing. Okay. So now we will see whether it can as the getter center method or not. How to check this? Just go to this one. This is the application. This is my main class. JP my mapping application. So I implement the command line argument. So it will override the wrong method. You know, if I implement the command line runner, then it will override the wrong method. Inside this wrong method, I will declare the person object and set the parameters. Okay. So how I can do this like this person person is equal to new person. Okay, cool. Now person, you can see the setter method is available or not. See here, person dot set age country email ID, all the parameters are available. Person dot set is person dot set person name. Everything is available. So you can set like this and set your appropriate parameter over here and do your operation. Okay. So now we are providing the getter setter method like this. Let's say I am giving country India is in the Let's say 25 and the person name. Okay, like this you can set. Okay. So I think there is a problem for me. Okay. That is done. So, also you can use lambda log for j or sl for j. Okay, so when you use logger in your application, how do you, how are you declare like? This like this private static final logger logger equal to logger dead gate logger then your class name. Okay, but we don't need to specify all those things in okay, like this we need to declare the logger. But if you are using lambda, then it will make your life simpler to do logger. Don't need this piece of code. Just like the video at the rate SL F4J or at the rate log 4 j annotation. Okay, you can simply annotate the class like this. Then here you can give like log dot for your info message or log dot debug your debug message. Okay, so hope logger makes your life easy by using logger. It will help you to minimize your code. So thanks for watching. Thank you. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel. Please let me know if you want any any more video on Java. Then I will definitely help you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.